Hello again and welcome back to The Master's Voice. I am Celestial and you're welcome to this channel. Continuing with the prophecies in the America series that I started about two weeks ago, uh, the last video that I made was part of a series called America in Turmoil in Quick Succession. So if the video is not clear, please check the three dot menu at the top or just look along the status bar until you see a cog icon hit quality and then look for 720p or 1080p so that you can get a better picture. If the quality of the video reverts as you're watching, if it starts to get fuzzy, just know that that is YouTube trying to bring down the quality. So just check again and see if it hasn't gone back to 480. Take it back to something higher. Check the description box as well so that you can know what this video is about. And without further ado, let's go to the message. So this is part two of a three-part prophecy series. I received all these messages on the same day, and that was July 16, 2019. And the prophecy is called, In Quick Succession, America in Turmoil. So in the process of giving me these prophecies, the Lord was both speaking at certain times, and then he was explaining things to me. So at times he was explaining things to me and I was seeing pictures to go with them and I was and I wrote down in the prophecy the explanations of what the Lord was saying. And basically the crux of this three-part series called America in Turmoil is pointing to a time and some might say that we are already either at the cusp of that time or we have definitely entered into that time. Speaking of a time in the United States when certain actions will be taken by, I would say, not so much the visible leadership as such, because God always says that the leadership in this country is already co-opted. Co-opted means that you have something like an organization or you have something like a group, but that group is not what it appears to be. So the group may have a leadership or the organization may have a leadership, but behind it, there's something else operating behind it. There is in fact a superior force and it is that superior force, which is hidden unseen. The Lord calls it the unseen hand. It is that unseen influence, that unseen power that actually controls the organization that actually controls the group or whatever it is. So you see them making moves, right? So you see them making moves and you think, oh, why are they making these decisions? Why are they doing this as opposed to that? But in truth, in reality, their actions are being dictated by a higher power that is not up front, a higher power that is hidden, a higher power that is so discreet that many people don't know it exists. So what the Lord was revealing in the quick succession prophecies it's written right there in the, in, the, in the title, is that America will be plunged into turmoil. Turmoil means a great heaving state of unrest. So it's not anxiety and it's not worry. Turmoil actually can, if I give you a picture of it, I'm talking about that final stage of the washing machine, right? When the washing machine is spinning out of control to get all the water out of the clothes and it's just really operating on a high frequency, whenever you have a situation that mirrors that image, that is turmoil. And so the Lord is saying, excuse me, please. The Lord is saying that there will come a time in America where America will be thrown into turmoil. She will be completely destabilized. And one of the key characteristics that we can know that this, that this season has come upon the nation is that the military will become extremely visible, extremely visible. So some of the visions that I've shared in other videos show that the American military will be on the streets. This will take place before any kind of invasion from foreign powers. So this will be part of an internal destabilization where the nation will become rocked by so many stresses and struggles. People will be so upset. People will be so scared and people will be so angry by the things that are taking place 
that the military will become the go-to resort for those in power. The military will be deployed on the street. And here's the thing. It won't just be the normal cops that we see here um, in, in New York City, for instance, the NYPD blue, which is just your ordinary cops that are out there in the blue uniforms with the hat. We see these guys all the time. No, this will be a highly militarized um, security forces. These guys will look like soldiers. The people that I see in the videos are always wearing black. So they're in black from head to toe. They have helmets. They have these really long batons. They have um, a very peculiar kind of boot. The boot comes all the way up to the knee and it has um, belted straps on it. So it looks like um, that the boots are made a particular way to really keep the foot firm. And there's a very high sole on these boots, like a very thick sole on these boots. They sometimes carry body length shields. So all the way up from the top of a man, all the way up to his knees, but sometimes the shields are shorter and sometimes their faces are not visible at all. They have a sock pulled up, right? So you can't see the bottom half of this person's face. And sometimes they even wear what looks like black motorcycle helmets. So these people will come to the streets and the Lord says that there's a particular agenda. And that agenda is to strike fear into the hearts of Americans. That agenda is to cause great intimidation in the population. And that agenda is to make us, the ordinary person on the street, know that you are not control in control anymore. And it is these things that God collectively refers to as, in some prophecies, and certainly in this one, the new world order. So, the banner scripture for today is Matthew chapter 7, verses 26 to 27. Everyone who hears these words I say, but does not do them, will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat against that house, till it fell, and its fall was a very great fall. So this prophecy is July 16. I got it early in the morning. Well, not so early, around 11 o'clock. It says America will be destabilized. The first thing is finding what I called or what, what came across to me as scare packages in the mail. So there's going to come an uptick, an uptick in finding scare packages in the mail. Something like what the Unabomber used to do. Um, I did not know anything about this man until Netflix did a series on him, I think about two years ago. Um, apparently a, a highly intelligent man, a professor, and somebody who definitely had um, clear views on what he believed that he wrote a manifesto. I did some research to find that, strangely enough, Amazon is selling this man's manifesto while the man is in jail and because the man is precluded from getting royalties, who's getting that money for what he wrote? Because a lot of people are still buying it. But since he's precluded from getting royalties or anyone in his family, is Amazon getting this money? These are just the things that I think. But anyway, it was like what the Unabomber used to do. So it will be mini bombs, scare bombs. Um, I even saw anthrax letters, right? So I saw like uh, letters lying with powder in them and other scary things like that. And all of this will be sent deliberately through the mail. And the point of it is to amp up America's blood pressure and to, to hike up the fear of Americans to boiling point. And so when these things start happening um, in this prophecy, I wasn't giving an, given any cities that they would be happening in, but just that like the previous the first prophecy in this series, it will be things that will be happening through the mail and the point of it will be to cause fear. So in the first prophecy, I spoke of uh, little bombs that were going off at cafes and in small places like embassies, offices, places that are, were calculated to cause maximum fear. 
precisely because people won't know where this is going to happen. So you'll be thinking, oh, okay, where's this going to happen next? You know, what is, could it be my office next? Could it be my school? So that's what was happening. And then I saw because of this kind of thing taking place across America, that in the cities, so this was happening in the cities, there was a lot of pressure that was building up among people to move to someplace safe, right? So I saw there was, there was a pressure in the hearts of people. I was seeing people and people were becoming frantic. Like this could happen in our city. This could happen. What are we going to do? And I saw that families had to now take a decision about what to do. So I, the Lord showed me a picture of a man. And I heard this man clearly saying to his wife, take the kids and spend time at your mother's. And then I saw that the mother lived in rural Arkansas and that this couple lived in a city. And that the man wanted his wife to take the children and go to this place of safety until he could figure out what to do. But brothers and sisters, the family's entire life was invested in the city. And this man obviously was not going to be able to easily figure out what plans or what steps next to take. And so I saw that there was no safe place for this couple to really go to. No place for them to really relocate and this was an issue that began to confront many city dwellers and God was showing that America will become volatile and unstable and I think we've seen some of that already the next image the Lord showed me was a, a spitting bomb you know in the old days in the cartoons they would have that black uh, bomb like a bowling ball with the fuse burning down to it and so I saw this and I saw the fuse burning down and it was made known to me that these acts will be carried out with precision. So it will look random. It will look like there's a Unabomber or there's a strange person who has just arisen in American society or maybe even strange terror groups because the Lord mentioned that that there, there's a strange force that has just risen up on their own and now they're just trying to scare people, but actually it will be coming from a very precise and well-planned single source, right? And these events will be carried out as if they're being done on a timer. And so these bombs will flood the city and they will cause great upset in the country to the point where armed police forces, military forces, Soldiers in bomb diffusion gear and police in SWAT uniform will be mobilized to the streets for all to see. And then the Lord began to speak to me and he began to say to me, Celestial, the USA has never actually seen her military. And then what I had was this picture where it was in um, fast forward. You know the, the way the old old filming used to be really fast. So you would see people marching and then people going and then they were waving. So I saw a military parade. It looked like maybe World War I or World War II. I'm not sure which, but it looks like the American army was coming home and they were going down the streets and people were clapping really fast and they were waving little flags and people were lifting up their little boys and little girls to see the soldiers that had come home victorious from the war. And this is what the Lord was letting me know, that America only sees the aftermath of the wars that she fights. So she only sees the victorious little snippets and she only sees the carefully, in my opinion, doctored news that appears on the news channels, but she never actually sees what war machinery looks like. She ne she's never actually seen her tanks. She's never actually seen the physical weapons that America takes to other countries to destroy their infrastructure and hurt their citizens. But now she will see these things while young American children stand right there on the streets watching them. So the Lord says that you've cheered for your army and your air force and your navy and marines and all the other soldiers that go off to war and you've praised them and you've watched them dropping bombs on other people, but you have never seen your own security forces standing with these rock hard faces and pointing guns directly at you. So I saw that these soldiers that we're talking about will not be afraid to point the weapons directly at citizens when this happens. But the Lord says that though she's never seen this, 
she will. Police in full commando gear will be everywhere monitoring everything. So like I said, the police will not appear as their traditional way. They will be everywhere and they will be in full code red gear so that they look their scariest. And this is to cause fear in the hearts of people. The Lord says that curfews will be implemented. We've seen that. And people will not be allowed to move freely between neighborhoods, regions, or states. We've also seen that, especially here in New York City. They were even checking people in the Lincoln Tunnel who were coming from other places because of COVID-19. He says that this will be a new kind of America, not for the free and not for the brave. This is the onset of the new world order. Search and seizure will be common. So they will just stop you and go through your stuff. In the, new, in the New York State, at least, there used to be a law called stop and frisk where they would just stop you. A lot of people said based on racial profiling and just ask you to go through your stuff or just present ID or just um, like those countries where you have to carry a pass to move from one place to another. And he said that search and entry without a warrant will be even more current. So I've got several prophecies on the blog like this. You can go and look at the home invasions imminent and Revelation 13 prophecies and videos. Please always, when you watch the video, take time and read the prophecy too. The, the two of them go together. This um, video backup is not really meant to be used uh, on its own. It's just to kind of I guess give a little bit more insight on what's written, but what's written is primarily what the Lord said. Exactly. So they'll be doing search and entry without a warrant. Uh, I had a dream where I saw in one place that it was cold. It was either winter time or it was um, about, it was before the snow, but soldiers were going into people's homes and just forcing them to come out and they would search the house from top to bottom without a warrant. And I saw that they went into the home of a family that had a lot of food and, uh, the soldier was very angry and he came out and he was holding a can of beans and he was asking the father, cause this family was in bathrobes right? They hadn't had time to prepare and they weren't warmly dressed and they were put out of their home and they were, they were made to stand on the lawn. And then the soldier was holding the beans and he was saying, what is this? What is all this extra food for? What is this? And he was very angry and he threw the can of beans on the lawn at the feet of the father. And I saw that in that video, in that dream, sorry, I said in the video that the father of that family was frightened and the whole family was frightened and the father did not answer. He did not answer the the cop, he didn't say anything. So the Lord says that the words terror and terrorism will make a comeback like never seen before. Now this nation is no stranger to the use of the word terror because of 9-11, but God says that these words that have died down in the last 20 years since 9-11 will come back with a bang. And at this time, the media will really be in her finest hour. And this was not said in a complimentary way. It was said more in a sarcastic way because they will be the ones pushing this agenda to a fever pitch. They will push it as far as it can go. If you have not noticed by now, or if you have not clicked on to the fact that U.S. media's primary job is to drive decided narratives and ride those narratives until the wheels fall off. If you still think that it is possible to put on these various CNNs and ABC and NBCs and whatever they are and get the truth from them, that they are properly informing you with your best interests in mind, then... Well, more power to you if that's what you think. The Lord said that these media outlets will pump the nerves of people until their bodies are pumping adrenaline to the point where their nerves are shot because of newscasters, bulletins, breaking news, continuing coverage, experts, our panel discussions, and other types of media outflow. They will rehash and rerun and dissect and exhaustively talk about these explosives and every other type of destabilizing event in the country. 
You will hear about these things until your blood pressure skyrockets or until you finally have some sense and turn the TV off. And this is a phase. The Lord said that this is what this phase of supreme media rerunning and breaking news and coming up. We go back to this explosion in so-and-so city. Uh, how many people were injured there again, Bob? They're going to do this on a never-ending loop until the hearts of people and the nerves of people literally cannot bear it anymore. The Lord says that the media will be used to choke America slowly and that it will be successful because America's own fascination with news information, updates, and entertainment will make her unable to look away from this media flood until the poison of fear has gone very deep into the nation's system. Again, this is the intention. So when you see this happening, know that the Lord's word is being fulfilled right in front of you. So it is a plan that the Lord has shown me this is a carefully orchestrated plan that has been set now in motion and is rolling to its execution phase with deadly precision. The Lord says you have been hunted and you have fallen into the net like prey, America. And in time, you will be devoured from within. This is the word of the Lord. The prophecy of turmoil continues. God bless you. So I was just saying that as we hear these prophecies, brothers and sisters, we really need to be moved in ourselves to take the initiative and use this time to strengthen our faith. Although I have not said these things officially and formally on the blog, the Lord continues to say to me that 2021 will be a taxing year for the nation of America. That is the commission the Lord has given me to bring his specific prophetic words to the United States. And this is what he says to me. Celestial, strengthen yourself. Strengthen yourself in me and strengthen your faith because 2021 is going to be a difficult year. So I said, strengthen your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Spend time in the word of God. Spend time in prayer. There are people who disagree that spending time in prayer is a useful investment of time in times of struggle. You're entitled to that opinion. I believe that through all things, at least in my life, whatever it is that I have gone through, I have navigated those things through prayer and by clinging tightly to the hand of the Lord. I certainly do not intend to change that strategy now. There's a reason that the Lord is called Ebenezer. That word means a very strong, solid help. And thus far has he helped us. Thus far has he brought us. Thus far has he brought us. And thus far has he helped us. So if God has brought me in my own life thus far, then I know that I can trust him through dialogue, through prayer, through fasting, and through constantly keeping my eyes on him to take me all the way to the intended goal he has for my life. So this is Celestial. Thank you for joining me on the Master's Voice. Um, I'll be back with the third part of this prophecy and God richly bless and keep each one of you. Take care. Bye.